Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this mini Unity tutorial I'm going to show you how you can layer cameras. So the idea of layering cameras gives you a perspective of, for example, two images or three images or whatever crossed onto one single viewing screen. So in the case of this scene I have one camera which is just looking at this area right here and I have another camera which is off over here looking at this random cube which is just rotating. So to give you some perspective, if I was just to press play now, you would see the first camera just viewing this area, no problem. And if I was to disable that camera, you would see the second camera just looking at this rotating cube. So that rotating cube is never going to move, but we're going to use layers to actually technically, if you want to put it that way, superimpose whatever that camera is viewing on top of this camera. And that can be very helpful in many ways. It'll give you different effects that you can use in your game. So to do that, what we'll need to do is this cube that's rotating, we go to layer and click add layer. And let's choose layer 10 and let's just call this second cam. So if you've got other objects within the scene that you want to be layered, whatever you want this second camera here to see, you have to have every object with this layer. And to do that, if we click back on cube, we can now select second cam as the layer. So instead of default layer, it's second cam. So in order to make this work, we need this second cam to then have clear flags as depth only. And you'll see right there, that's what it sees. And culling mask, we select nothing and then select that layer that we've just created. In this case, second cam. So this camera now will see nothing except objects which have that second cam layer attached to it. So the inverse of that would be on the first camera, we need to then go culling mask and turn off second cam right there. So this camera will now see everything except that layer, whereas this camera will see nothing except that same layer. So if we turn this camera off now and press play, we'll see that same view that we had before. However, if we now turn this camera on, we'll see that cube appear randomly. And if we click scene now, you'll see that cube is actually still there. It isn't here where it thinks it is. And that is the beauty of using a layer. What we see here for this cube is a layer. That's all it is. That cube does not exist in front of this camera. It is just a layer. And that can be used, like I say, for many, many different effects within a game. So to give you a little bit more into that, let's just go to this camera, right click and create a 3D object. Let's create a sphere and let's drag it out so we can actually see the sphere because remember it's turned off. And let's just put this sphere here and let's make it big. And once again, if we press play, we'll see still that same view. However, that sphere won't appear at the moment when we turn the camera on. Again, it's just that cube. So that just proves that if we go to sphere and change the layer to second cam and press play again, and then turn that camera on, you can see the sphere has appeared behind the cube. So again, that is how the layering works. You can use layers for many different things in Unity and it is a very, very useful function. As I say, creating effects it is very useful for, as you've seen right here. So guys, I hope laying the cameras helped you a little bit there, and I hope you can come up with some great ideas for your game. Until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching.